so sorry for the light going there's so much going on with my body i'm trying to find a good i'm trying to find a good little angle but it's not working hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is destiny if you didn't already know you guys love my canon videos my unboxing video that i did and then my two month update that i did you guys like that so so i wanted to tell you guys about the settings I think are the best for vlogging and I'm not just saying like these are the settings I use to like experiment with I've got settings from like different youtubers and I kind of like conjured up my own or like put things together I also switch my settings depending on where I am and how I want to use it so let's get started with this video and I'll show you guys what my favorite settings are for vlogging all right I just want to apologize beforehand my nails look crusty I'm trying to grow them out so let's ignore them <laughs> All right, so my first settings is in the quick settings. I my ISO speed is autofocus. It autofocuses on anything. Then I have the one shot for pictures, but I don't really take pictures. And then I always shoot my videos in raw because they just have better quality. And then I always shoot in 60 frames per second but you can do it in 30 frames per second i just like to have more crisp um, videos but it does take a lot of space self timers off because i do not take any pictures and then i also have the nd filter off but when i'm outside it's better to have it on because it'll like change the vibe of the uh, video and it won't have the sunshine too much on your face And then I have the ISO on auto because the lights change all the time and I don't have time to be always changing the lighting. I also have my auto white balance on and then I have my picture style set to auto but sometimes I switch it to picture instead of auto because sometimes I just want to have that smooth looking face when I have a close up shot of my face. Metering mode, I don't know what metering mode is but it's set to the first setting. <laughs> and then the auto lighting optimizer, I have it as the last setting. I forgot what the purpose of that was but um, I just saw another YouTuber do it and I haven't had any problem with it. And this is what the video usually looks like when I am shooting a product or something it looks pretty crisp um, you can't zoom in too much because it's gonna get blurry but yeah all right now we're gonna go to my menu settings um, I'm gonna go through this pretty fast because uh, <laughs> um, they're on the screen this is screen one then there's page two um, I have my face ID settings on the ring function autofocus lock is basically the button next to the record button says ring function and I set it to autofocus lock so I don't have to hear the clicking in the background. And then now that we move to page three, I also have autofocus method face tracking on. I have continuous autofocus on page four, page five. This is my page six. I have white balance as auto white balance. Um, white balance correction, B1, zero. Self timer is off. My movie recording size is 60, 30 frames per second. Wind filter is on auto because, you know, I don't want to hear all that wind, even though it's still pretty bad. But <laughs> um, yes, I don't know what an alternator is, so let's ignore that. My settings, my folders, my formats. My video system is NTSC. I'm not sure what that is, but a lot of YouTubers have it on that, so I'm just going to keep it like that. And all these other options you don't need. So I did go back to the ring function button just to let you know that the ring function is basically the button that's next to the record button when you're about to hit record. Um, you click AFL right here and then it's going to set to ring function. So anytime you want to take a video, you click ring function like this. You're going to focus on the you're going to focus on the object, click ring function, and then it's going to lock onto the object. You're going to see a red flash pop up. Then you're going to record and then it's going to lock onto the object, which is my um, lips lip balm or whatever it's called and then you're not going to hear the focusing sounds in the background like the little clicking sounds and that's how you fix it but i'm also going to explain it at the end of the video okay i'm sorry again for being by the window it's the only place that's actually giving me great lighting and i didn't really want to i didn't feel like setting up my ring light so i'm sorry but um with the ring function that i told you about with the auto focus lock the reason you have like that noise in the background every time you try to film off the Canon G7X is because of the autofocus. It keeps trying to auto 
focus on you and it's always trying to focus every time you move and do all of that and if you don't know what i'm talking about with the camera i'm going to play it right now and show you what it sounds like without the autofocus lock on and what it sounds like with the autofocus lock on okay so this is what the camera sounds like with the autofocus lock on i don't know let me see if i move over here if it's gonna keep you're gonna keep hearing like these little clicks in the background or like by the camera and stuff a lot of youtubers they don't care about that i personally don't care about it all the time when i watch uh youtubers do it but for my videos i don't like it so all i do is make my face present and then i have my face scanned click the ring function and then i click the record you shouldn't hear anything and this is what it sounds like with the autofocus lock on. I don't think you guys hear any of the clicking sounds that I had before. I don't like to use the ring function button when I'm trying to do like visuals and I know I'm gonna put music over it because I'm gonna mute the clip anyways. When there's clips where I'm talking, I put the autofocus lock on because I don't want to hear the clicking noises. So if you do get a Canon G7X, it's a really great camera. I just want you guys to know what type of settings you guys should use for your camera so you could get the best quality that you can. But if you like this video, leave a thumbs up and check out the videos I, the other videos I made on the Canon. Subscribe for more videos like the other videos I do, like day in my life, morning routines, getting my life together. See you guys in the next video. Don't know when that's gonna come out, maybe next week, maybe in a few days, but it's gonna come out. See y'all in the next video, bye.